In this video, I'll show you how to create monthly calendars quickly and automatically in Excel, which will allow you to track your leaves and holidays easily. To get started, we're going to format the rows and columns in our workbook to our liking. Firstly, we'll select all cells by selecting this triangle. We'll then right click any column and change our column width to six. We'll do the same for the row height by right clicking any row and we'll change the height to 29. This way our workbook is better suited to accommodate our calendars. The way we're going to create our calendars is by firstly creating a template for the first two months which will then replicate for the remaining ones. We're going to merge cells B2 to H2 and write January 2022 to denote the first month in our 2022 calendar. Next, we're going to add the days of the week using just the first two letters of each day. We're going to want all of the dates in the month to be formatted to show just the days in a two digit format. To apply this format, we can select the area where our dates will be within our calendar, right click it, and then click format cells. We will then select custom formats and type DD to show the days of each date in a two digit format. Next, let's add the days that apply to January. As per the inbuilt calendar I have here, the first day in January is on a Saturday. The first Monday, however, will be the 27th of December. So we can type this here. We can then add one to give Tuesday's date and then drag this across. For the next Monday, it would be Sunday's date plus one. And then as before, Tuesday is the 3rd of January plus one. We can then drag this across and we can select this week and drag it down. So that gives all of the dates in January. Before we move on to February, let's format this calendar to make it look more presentable. Let's select all of the cells, let's center align them, and let's change the background color to gray and the font color to white. Let's also remove the grid lines. And finally, let's right align the month title. Now we can copy the January month and apply the same rules for February. In theory, for the remaining calendars, we could just change the first day of each month every time we copy and paste the January calendar. However, we want to apply a formula which automates the process altogether. However, before we start with that, the first thing we'll automate is the name of the month. Here we can use the edate function to add one month to the previous month. We type equals e date, input the previous month, and then type one to add one month to it. Next, we want to automatically identify what the date of the first Monday in our February calendar would be, because by knowing this, we can calculate what all the remaining days in the month are. From looking at the January calendar, we can see that this would be 31, as that is the last day before the 1st of February. But how can we automate this? There are two rules that the first Monday of each month must adhere to. If B9 is a day like 3, so the 3rd of February, then this wouldn't be the first Monday of February, as it means we're omitting days 1 and 2. However, if B9 is 1, then this would be the first Monday of February, as there are no days before the first. 
we can write the following if formula to bring these rules to life. This is saying that if cell B9 is smaller than an arbitrary day which is large enough, like 10, and is not equal to 1, then we want Excel to display the value in the row above, which is cell B8. Whereas if these conditions don't hold, then we want it to display the value in the bottom row, which is cell B9. In this case, Excel has retrieved 31, as it is greater than 10 and not equal to 1. To replicate this calendar for the remaining months, all we need to do is to copy and paste it. As you can see, the days automatically adjust. The first Monday in March is 28, since 7, which is the last Monday in the previous calendar, is less than 10, which means we would be omitting days 1 to 6 of March if we use 7 instead of 28. We can therefore add as many calendars as we want by simply copy pasting the calendars across like this and they all adjust to show the correct dates in each month without requiring any manual efforts. So that's how to create multiple calendars quickly and automatically in Excel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.